Good morning guys, welcome back to the vlogs. I hope everyone is doing very well. This is gonna be like the birthday festivities vlog. We have a lot of plans for this week. Today's Monday and I am about to leave to go and meet the girls to shoot at Arabica, which is a coffee shop in Nolita. So I don't think I've ever taken you guys shooting in Nolita before, which is actually my old neighborhood because there wasn't really places around there to shoot. But this coffee shop is so beautiful inside. It's very minimal. So we're gonna shoot inside there because it's also freezing outside. So our new initiative is to try to find these like really beautiful like indoor coffee shops to shoot at. So we're gonna head off there this morning. I just wanted to start off the vlog and get it going because we have a very exciting week. All of our stuff. This is the coffee shop. Hathel, what's your go-to coffee order? I got a latte with oat milk. I'm gonna get a with oatmeal. Nice. I got a matcha latte with almond milk. Oh yeah, I got it. Avery. <laughs> <laughs> I like, you What's your coffee latte? order? Almond milk latte. We have a, a slight revision okay. to the coffee order. I get sugar almond milk, not oatmeal. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you guys, I have made it back from shooting and I just made a little yogurt bowl. So I'm gonna sit down and eat that while I work. I signed on about an hour ago. So I've been home for a little while, but I wanted to put my outfit back on that I shot after the first one so that you guys can see it because I loved it so much. So um, I'm wearing my Pangaea set again. I think I wore this last vlog. It's just this cashmere set and I kind of forgot about this. It was in the back of my loungewear drawer so I just pulled it out and I feel like I've been wearing it for the past couple of days because of that. And then for a jacket, I just put on my Zara little chocolate brown teddy. I love this color combination together, especially with this bag. And Sammy made a good point that since this is jersey material or maybe it was Hathel, but um, since it's jersey material, it's a darker black than a leather bag would be because it doesn't reflect off the light. So I think that it looks super nice and chic with this kind of like cozier outfit to dress it up. And then I also put on loafers. I'm wearing my slippers right now, but I did have on my Chanel loafers to kind of tie it in and again, just make it look a little bit fancier because I am basically wearing loungewear on the bottom, but it dressed up really nicely and I'm excited to post it on my Instagram. So I'm gonna go enjoy my yogurt bowl. It wasn't the prettiest, but I am really excited because I haven't had that in a while. And I've just been eating avocado toast. <laughs> Hey you guys, look what has just arrived. I'm so excited because everything in this order is honestly perfect in my opinion, but I placed this order on Saturday. Wait, was it Saturday or Friday? It was either Friday or Saturday and today's Monday and the entire thing is here. No multiple shipments, nothing. I think it's because after the holidays, people aren't really shopping or spending money. However, I am because my boss got me a gift card. <laughs> so. It only covered like a small portion of this haul, but I'm so glad this got here because I am gonna film this during my lunch break. And then I'm also going to film my rumored haul for lunch. So you guys have lots of fashion and styling videos coming, which I'm so excited about. And my room is completely clean for me to just start right away, which I'm, you know, over the moon. So we're all ready to go and I can't wait to show you guys this stuff. Okay, I've decided to give you guys a sneak peek because most likely this video will be posted before this vlog goes live, if all goes well. If not, you're getting a sneak peek and you probably won't watch the other video. But I am so 
crazy in love with every single thing that I got from Zara. This is like a problem. These look exactly like the Celine pair. I saw someone wearing them because the my office is near the Celine store, so I always see like people walking around with Celine stuff on, and I fell in love with the shoes, but I saw these on Zara, and I was like, how? Like, it's crazy. And then this jacket, I think was in low stock, so this is the khaki version, but it came in other colors. This I thought was a really pretty take on the normal like black um, little jacket with the gold buttons, but it has this white piping on it. And then this cropped card, like this is pretty bad because I want to keep all this stuff. <laughs> Maybe not the skirt because it's pretty short, but I will obviously try that on and show you guys and let you know in the haul. But this cropped cardigan with like trousers and these loafers or just with a pair of jeans to work from home, I thought was so nice and it's super soft. And then we have this mini skirt, which it's a skirt, so it's not like it's going to be like, you know, showing anything. But at the same time, I don't want it to be this short. I wanted it to be maybe like a couple inches longer and then just some gray jeans, which I didn't realize that these had a raw hem. I'm not like crazy about a raw hem, but I could also get them tailored to have them like searched at the bottom if I want to, because I really like the shade of the wash. They're like a very dark brown, but they do have this like charcoal gray feel to them, which I really like. And this denim's also really soft. Good morning everyone, happy Wednesday. I didn't pick up the camera yesterday and my plan was to vlog only on Friday, but I did just wanna update you guys because I was supposed to have a birthday dinner with my friends yesterday and it, we ended up having to cancel it because there was a really bad storm and the winds were supposed to get up to 65 miles an hour and people were taking the train and I didn't want anyone to blow away. <laughs> So we canceled that. We're gonna go next Monday instead. But today is my actual birthday. So I am 28 years old today and honestly not feeling much different. I'm gonna go and head off to the office. I'm wearing this super extra outfit that I'm gonna show you guys in a second. But I'm ready early. I got up early, went to the gym, got all dressed and ready, had my breakfast, and I'm gonna go to Birch to get a coffee this morning before I get into the office and then later today my sister's actually coming into the city to go and do returns so we're gonna have like a birthday latte and just celebrate our birthday together but we called each other this morning and I wish I was already vlogging because we were singing happy birthday to each other at the same time and it was just funny so um but yeah I am a twin for those of you who don't know and so I share my birthday which means I'm not normally big on my birthday but this year I actually had a good amount of plans so after the office I am going to Morandi with Polly I will take you guys along to that too so let me show you what I'm wearing I got this package in yesterday I think yeah it was yesterday and so this is from Ana Luisa boutique it's a little blazer dress but look how cute and feminine this silhouette is it has a drawn in waist already and then it kind of flares out into this little skirt which i am so obsessed with it kind of reminds me of like dior a little bit with the way that the suit fits um and it has these fabric covered double breasted buttons which i think are also a really nice detail i did steam it a little bit just because in the package it got a little wrinkled um, and then i am wearing tights underneath that and my new Zara penny loafers, which it wasn't really my choice to wear flats today, but when I put the dress on, it is a smidge short. This is like the amazing thing about working in fashion is that these things can fly, um, but I just didn't want to wear heels on top of the dress being like kind of borderline. Tonight though, I will put on heels and I think I'm gonna wear my new shoes that I got for Christmas, so I'm really excited about that. But as long as it doesn't rain, because I think it's supposed to rain in the middle of today, which that just reminded me that I need to grab an umbrella. And then it's supposed to be clear, I think, tonight. Yeah, so we're gonna wear the new shoes, and I'm so excited, and I'm probably gonna keep this exact same outfit on, and maybe put in like a hair bow or some, set, some sort of hair accessory just to dress it up a little bit. Um, and I did pop in my Heaven Mayhem earrings. I think I called them Haven Mayhem when I did the Christmas haul, but 
it's heaven mayhem. So yeah, just a nice little gold detail. And I need to grab my watch. And then we're gonna head out the door for a day at the office. And then I'm gonna meet my sister at lunch. <laughs> Happy birthday. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. I'm here with Sammy and Avery. Avery's gonna change into her second outfit. We're just taking some pictures this morning. We stopped at Fellini to get coffees, which I didn't take any clips, I don't think, outside of it because I wanted to chat to you guys first. But maybe I will take some on my way back. We have a pretty crazy day today. It's my sister's first dress fitting for her wedding. So I'm gonna go with her to that, and it's in New Jersey. Sorry, there's a lot of foot traffic here and I'm trying not to get in people's way um, so I have to take the path after this and go to New Jersey and then I'm gonna come back later after that and I also have to go to the orthodontist which is gonna be super fun but I've been putting that off for like a year probably so I'm very excited to get that done um, what else was I gonna say I forget oh, we're basically gonna be matching because I brought my little Cezanne fluffy coat oh my God. Almost wore mine. That would have been so cute. <laughs> oh, oh well, next time. Oh, I did want to give a review of the caramel latte. Also, this property is for sale if anyone wants to buy it because I definitely can't afford it. <laughs> um, caramel latte is 10 out of 10. It's not too sweet. It's like the perfect amount of having a little bit of sugar but not being like overwhelming. So, this is also $4.90 if you guys get regular milk. So, it's really cheap. Um, so I highly recommend. Hi guys, I'm back in New Jersey at my parents' house. As you guys can tell, the background is a little bit different. And I was kind of explaining my day to you guys a little bit, but I have an orthodontist appointment in about an hour, which I'm excited to get that over with because I've basically been putting it off for... I think the last time I went was either a year or longer ago, and I'm supposed to get my retainer adjusted because basically my two front teeth, or like the teeth on the side like stick out a little bit more than the rest of my teeth, and my retainer fits me, so it needs to be adjusted to kind of pull those back in, so I'm excited to get that done. I don't know if they'll be able to correct it in one visit or if I'll have to go a couple of times, but we're getting it started today regardless. And then I'm also going to my sister's dress fitting that I mentioned to us. And one other thing. Oh, I booked an eye doctor appointment because this is my last set of contacts. And I can tell you guys because you're not my eye doctor, but I had a stern talk into last time I went to the eye doctor because I told him that I had, so I have two week lenses. So I use them over a course of two weeks and then I get rid of them and start a new pair. These I've probably had for like three months and it's so bad for your eyes. I don't recommend that at all. It's like actually so not okay that I'm doing this, but I needed to go to the eye doctor and renew my prescription so that I can get new contact lenses because if you don't go to the eye doctor, you can't order from like Warby Parker or anywhere else. Um, so I have to do that today. And my option was either to go at 4 p.m or to pick up a pair of spare lenses and go next Friday when I'm home before my sister's bachelorette. So I chose to go today just to get it over with and that way I can order my contacts today and get them over the next and they'll give me a couple of pairs when I go. Um, so speaking of my sister's bachelorette, I just came home to a bunch of packages and I wanted to show you guys what I got. I know this doesn't apply to everybody, but my sister is getting married and her bachelorette is next weekend. We're doing a mountain weekend theme in our friend's lake house. So they were nice enough to let us use their house and they're also coming, they're our family friends. Um, and so this is the tapestry that we ordered to take photos in front of. And I know my older sister doesn't watch my vlog, so she won't see it and I won't ruin the surprise. But we got a bunch of stuff off of Etsy and this is the only thing that came so far for the Bachelorette, but it says, welcome to Camp Chloe. And this is gonna be what we're gonna take pictures in front of. So we're gonna hang this over like a fireplace mantle and decorate it. 
And then toward the bottom, this is huge, which I'm absolutely obsessed with because we needed something big. But it says last trail before the veil. I'm doing like a terrible job, but it says last trail before the veil. And then it has like little trees at the bottom and it says New York 2024. So um, yeah, it's super cute. Definitely going to be a really good thing to take pictures in front of. And I love that green is like a trend right now because it's gonna look cute with everything else. So that's the tapestry. I'm gonna lay this out over a couple of chairs just to get some of the wrinkling out of it. And then we'll probably steam it before we bring it up. And then the second thing that came, which we struggled so hard to get a sign for my sister's like um, bridal shower. And this one ended up being perfect. It was from Etsy again. And I feel like that's really the only way you can go. But the problem is that you have two options. One is to either, sorry, I cannot open this. Oh my gosh, the struggle that I just had to get this out. But that's actually a good thing. So. I, there are a bunch of different ways you can go when you're printing a sign. You either do like a tapestry version where it's like fabric and they can print on that and you hang it off of a step and repeat. You can do a like physical sign, like a board, or you can buy a design for like seven bucks and then get it printed somewhere else. And I was so like all over the place. It was really hard to make a decision and I decided to just find a digital print change it the way we wanted to do it and then just get it printed because some of the stuff was like not her style and I wanted to make it look nice. So we ended up printing at this place. I think it's called Love Prints, but I'll link their page because they were amazing. They packaged this so well. It was in bubble wrap as you guys just saw because I had <laughs> such a struggle to get it off. And then each corner had another individual bubble wrap and then it was taped inside of the box so that it wouldn't move around. So really good packaging. And this is what her sign looks like. So it says, welcome to Chloe's bridal shower. And then just the date. I didn't want to do like the venue or anything like that. Cause like kind of who cares? <laughs> and to be honest, this is probably going to be thrown out at the end of the event. So I just wanted to get something simple. I think we're going to do a little bit of greenery on it. Like I wanted to tie a bow at the top of this, but Vanessa said that's too feminine for the theme. Um, but it's going to look really cute. We're just going to put it on an easel outside of the event room and then she'll have a separate sign when, or like a separate backdrop when we're actually inside of the bridal shower venue to take pictures in front of. So this one, we're not taking pictures in front of. It's just the simple sign to keep on the outside of the room. So people know where to go. And that's why we went simple and easy with it. So I'm very happy with this one as well. And I like that it's minimal. I know that's my style and not necessarily everyone else's, but her wedding is going to be like, she's just doing black and white and greenery. So I feel like this will go well with the shower and also with her wedding and kind of encompass everything. So simple, but we have a little bit of like feminine details with the script and everything like that. Sorry, my phone keeps vibrating. If you guys can hear that. I wanna show you my outfit that I'm gonna be wearing to her dress fitting because I wore it this morning to shoot and I was so happy with it. I don't know where I'm gonna be able to put you guys where you'll be able to kind of like see it, but I'll figure that out. Okay, I feel like this is good enough. This is my Cezanne jacket. I ended up sizing up in this and I never told you guys about it but I went with a size eight or a size six, I think, and I'm so glad that I ended up swapping out the smaller size because I like that this is more roomy and it basically looks the same. It's just a little bit more room in the sleeves and I mean a little bit more in the body, but nothing crazy, but I like the way that this looks better than the size four did. And then my sweater is just a plain black crew neck. Skinny jeans are from, where are these from? Topshop off of ASOS and Honestly, I know that people have done away with skinny jeans and I don't wear them a ton, but you do need to wear them with riding boots, which I have, I'm almost gonna fall over, but I have this black pair that I'm gonna wear. Well, obviously I'm already wearing them. Um, and you obviously need jeans that are gonna go inside of the boot if you're gonna see the boots. So that's the reason why I still own skinny jeans. Then my bag is my um, rebag rented Chanel double flap. It's just this Jersey one and I'm probably gonna wear it crossbody. 
I'm only gonna wear this to the dress fitting. I'm gonna switch out to my black coat that I wore this morning to style and wear that to the orthodontist because I don't wanna look too extra because this would be kind of crazy if I like walked in with my retainers wearing this. <laughs> this is as low as the steering wheel goes so I can't like bring it out from over my face but I'm in the car. We're gonna head out to the orthodontist now and I have my Polen bag with all of my essentials in here. We've got my wallet, my sunglasses, and my retainers, which I don't know why I feel like a little kid talking about my retainers when everyone really needs to wear them if you've ever had braces, unless you get a permanent one. Anyway, I'm also super excited because I just got my boy brow that I bought probably, I think it's been two weeks now. And I went to Sephora specifically for this. There was only one tube left. I bought it and then I forgot it at home. And I uploaded a reel today on Instagram and I really have no eyebrows. It was probably because like the sun was blurring on me, but this eyebrow specifically has not been staying in line for the past two weeks. And I'm like, I just need my brow gel and then everything will be right in the world. So I'm applying it because I just found it and I've missed it so much and it's crazy how nice it is to have a brand new tube of this because my other one I didn't realize how dried out it was and it's like so much easier to apply it so those are my brows I get the shade brown but I will link this for you guys if you need like a soft kind of like brow look this looks a little bit crazy right now I normally just like use my finger toward the front of it to make it a little bit less impactful but yeah I love this product so much and they come in a bunch of different shades just in case obviously for different hair colors and things like that So my appointments in 10 minutes the place is about like eight or nine minutes away So I'm gonna leave now and that way I won't have to rush also. I am no longer going to the eye doctor I don't know what was wrong with me trying to schedule all of this stuff today But I'm skipping the eye doctor and I'm gonna just uber down to the wedding dress shop and then Just ride in the car back to Jersey City with my sister and take the path from there and then I'll go to the eye doctor either in the city because Polly looked it up and we do have one in the city so I don't know why I was trying to go at home and just be super chaotic about it and either that or I'm gonna go next weekend when I'm home on the day before my sister's bachelorette party so not going to the eye doctor today I have way too much going on this weekend anyway so it's probably better that I just skip it and do it another time okay retainers have been adjusted <laughs> okay you guys know that I'm going to try and vlog in the car every single waking moment that I possibly can because I never get to and driving if you guys have been around on my channel for a while it's one of my favorite things to do and I live in the city so I never drive around but anyway I just came to this pizza place in my town I'm gonna pick up a little slice maybe a pepperoni pinwheel and then I'm gonna head home and order an uber from my house to the dress shop it's my day off I don't want to I don't think I even mentioned that I took the day off today and I don't want to be like rushing and running around and just being stressed. So I'm going to go to the dress fitting and just have a nice relaxing time with my sister. And then maybe we'll get lunch afterwards or like, I don't know, a coffee or something. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm excited for that and I can't wait to see her dress on again. It's been so long. I think we went dress shopping. I don't remember. I vlogged it, but I don't remember when it was. I think it was like October. No, she got engaged in February of last year. And then we went maybe in the fall. I feel like maybe in the fall or the spring. I just remember what I was wearing. So it was either fall or spring attire. So I'm excited to see her in the dress again. She looked so beautiful in it. And now it's going to be tailored exactly to her, which is going to be really nice. And hopefully I can provide some helpful feedback if she needs help. So let's go grab a slice and get prepared to go down to the dress shop. All right, the pizza's been secured. I just got a Sicilian slice and an order of garlic knots because they looked so lightly cooked and doughy. So let's just do a little sample because I'm, st I'm so hungry. Oh, goodness. Amazing. So good. I wish I had enough room to open up the sauce and put some sauce on there but that is so good also just let me note this pizza and an order of garlic knots was seven dollars and 73 cents and the city you can get like a plain slice for 650 something crazy like that so it's 
nice to be back in New Jersey with reasonable human pricing. <laughs> I am the biggest idiot on the planet. Chloe's appointment is at three o'clock, not two o'clock, and it's 1.54 in the afternoon. So I'm here an hour early. I'm gonna go get a pedicure across the street because there's nothing else to do here. But I do stuff like this all the time. You think I would learn at some point in my life and now that I'm 28 years old, but nope. So I've just gotten back to my apartment a little while ago and we had a pizza night dinner and I had no problem eating pizza for lunch and for dinner, just in case you guys were wondering, but we normally have pizza every Friday and I knew that when I was getting pizza for lunch. So that was delicious and on my way back from going to my sister's dress fitting, she ended up driving me to the PATH station in Jersey City and then I got on from there and came into Manhattan. but. I got approached by an artist who drew a caricature of me while I was on the path. And he wasn't like creepy or anything, he was like a real artist and was very friendly and um, you know, genuine and all that. So I was like, sure. And ended up getting this little souvenir to bring home. Like literally only in New York does this stuff happen. I mean, I'm sure it happens in other places, but this is just so on brand. So now I have this beautiful little drawing, maybe I'll frame it and put it somewhere. Um, but Chloe's dress fitting went super well. That was her first out of three. And then she has her second one in probably, I think it's only like three weeks away, her second fitting. And yeah, so it's very exciting. It's coming super close. I cried <laughs> and it's just like all becoming very, very real. And I'm so excited for her. And it was really nice for me to be able to take the day off and be a part of that. And so that she also didn't have to go alone because my parents are in Florida and my sister was working today. So I'm glad I just got to be there for her. So really wonderful day. I'm exhausted. However, we are going to meet some friends out. So I'm currently, you know, trying to emotionally prepare myself to go out later, but tomorrow we have a full day and I'm gonna start a new vlog then. So this one is going to end off here. Sorry for ending off in this sort of a state, but thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the kind of mishmash situation we had going on between New York and New Jersey, but you know, that's just the way it is sometimes. Make sure you don't forget to subscribe. I would absolutely love to have you in my audience, on my channel, and don't want you to miss any of the upcoming fashion or vlog videos. So thank you guys again, and I hope to see you in my next video.